looking for love. People are looking for bride and bridegrooms. Indirectly looking for love. Looking out for a job, looking for love. <laughs> looking out for to get into a university, looking out for love. Yes, it's love. Everything's connected because they know only that connection can give them light unto yourself. Yes. Swami Muktananda Paramahams was born on 16th May 1908 in Mangalore in southern India. Died on 2nd October 1982 in Mumbai. Was a yoga guru and the founder of Siddha Yoga. He wrote books on the subjects of Kundalini Shakti, Vedanta and Kashmir Shaivism. Swami Muktananda Paramahamsa said, Love is our only reason for living and the only purpose of life. Such a beautiful, energetic, powerful, vibrating quote. <laughs> Difficult to get it out from the mouth of a yoga guru. Yes. That also love. Yes. And we look into the love, the first love which comes to anybody was the girl wants to love the boy, the boy wants to love the girl. And both are in that teenage state, basically wanted sex. They know when the sex union meets, they get a blast. But it was temporary, which others kept telling them. But the world was not able to stop that. Because it is natural. But here what Swami Muktananda Paramahamsa was talking or quoting was not that sexual love. Of course, that was at the bottom of the ladder of the talk. But for the present generation, the talk is on the upper lid. That's the only one reason. They start with the first, but for the gurus it start, it ends at the last. Sex was the last part because only when, why the gurus keep the sex at the last ladder and not on the top discussions when compared with the other people is because Everybody knows without warming up exercise and stretching exercise, without practicing a particular subject for a thousand times, you can't go to the stage in conscious layer. Hence, it came to the lower stage. If you practice, you will not get a muscle pull, you will not get tired, you will not lose the stamina. When you lose the stamina, when you get a muscle pull because your stretching was not there, you lose interest on that subject. Hence, the materialistic world without warming up and stretching, without practicing a thousand times, they had a muscle pull and then they lost interest. And hence, you can find a lot of fights between the girlfriend and the boyfriend and the husband and the wife. And as time comes, the gap widens. It is called the communication gap. That is where all the diseases find space to enter. And the hospitals, pharmaceutical companies were very happy when they were split to the side. Even leaders who wanted to rule you did it. Love is our only reason for living. Can you be only reason for living? To live, to get the spirit of living, you need to connect. Even when you have thirst, you feel thirsty, you, you want to love of that water. You just look at the water, your thirst will not go. You have to drink the water. And nowadays people are swallowing the water and I'm trying, please put it in your mouth, chew the water. Yes. Anything and everything, put it in your mouth and slowly chew it. Don't bite it. Yes. Chew it up beautifully. Yes. Don't swallow it up. When you feel hungry, you are in love with the food. Yes. And sometimes it is the food what you like it. You go to the shop or road, your driving time, you see the many hotels, you want to immediately make love with that hotel. But you use the term hungry. Even though you're not hungry, that attracts because the body might be looking for, for some strength, 
to build up. So you and the water when you're thirsty, when you and the food, only yin and the yang, positive and negative, only can create light electricity. That's why Swami Muktananda Paramahamsa said, love is our only reason for living. Otherwise, if nobody wants to they die out. They wanted to see, they wanted to embrace the pet animals. They want to hug and kiss the pet animals. But only one thing they forgot to hug and kiss the trees and the wind and the sunlight and the rainwater. That was got disconnected. Otherwise, the other thing was very good. And the only purpose of life, please understand, that is the only purpose of life. Love. I mean, that too coming out from the mouth of a Paramahamsa, Yoga Guru, it is shocking, beautiful statement. Just love. Yes, yesterday I was explaining to the people, there was no fight to relate to somebody. You have to only smile and if they return the smile back, yeah, you got it, you got your belief. You don't return also, even if they show an angry face, never mind, you are able to just yes, provoke till they respond. That is the strength of the civil disobedience movements and Mahatma Gandhi. This is not civil disobedience. <laughs> That the strength of the love of life provoke till they respond.